Today I'm doing something really nerdy. I usually do, but today's particularly nerdy. I'm building a Hackintosh, which is uh, you build a computer, you plan ahead what parts you use so they're compatible. So I can now install the Mac OS X operating system. I got my new motherboard that just came today. That was the last piece I was waiting on. I'm excited. I got a nice little case, got some memory, hard drive, a bunch of other little things. This is more or less a Christmas gift to myself. Discs, forget it, don't need it. It has an Intel Atom processor, which is supposed to be really low power. You know, it won't waste electricity because theoretically it'll be on all the time. Hopefully it works out nicely. I got the motherboard jammed in there. Now I just have to sort through this mess of cables and make sure they're all plugged into the right places. Okay, I plugged it in and it just turned on on its own. But nothing's happened. Oh! Error. Okay, so it seems to be working now. Um, you really have to pack everything in there. It's really jammed up. There's not a lot of room. Now we move on to stage two, which uh, is installing the OS X. Some guys on the internet have put together a tutorial for this specific motherboard. So uh, they've got all the drivers and everything together. I just need to burn a disk. For some reason it didn't want to detect my DVD drive through the IDE cable. So I've got it rigged up through this other weird thing and it's going out and back in through USB and now it seems to work. So we'll see. I'll worry about getting it to work later. I just want it to function. You know? Okay, another roadblock. Because the DVD didn't work, I should have realized the hard drive wouldn't work. Because it's on the same cable. The DVD connects there. Hard drive connects there. Now, I'm going to try a different one that I had from another old computer. Tim Deegan. VJ Search. <laughs> Probably not the same Tim Deegan building, uh, you know, boot ISOs for Hackintoshes. Okay, so it wasn't the IDE cable. It was one of these jumper things on the back of a hard drive. I don't know if you really care. Because there might be some people who are watching this who, are, who actually care and want to know what it was, but it was a thing on the back of another thing that now is fixed. Is that the Apple? It's a good start. Okay, so it took a long time. Uh, several hours, but I got it working. And, uh, yeah, it works. Um, what I mainly wanted it for was to play videos. And, uh, it can play just kind of regular downloaded TV shows and movies, no problem. Uh, high definition, not really feasible at this point. Which I kind of expected, but I had my hopes up. No stutters. See, it's kind of janky and choppy. Although, you know what's funny? Never mind. Anyways, it worked! And it only cost, total thing, cost like $200. So I could just give this to my grandma so I don't have to fix her computer anymore because she always gets viruses and stuff. Time saved alone there, fixing grandma's computer is at least worth it. Maybe. Although I suspect that grandma sabotages it on purpose so we can, so I'll come visit her. So I would hate to ruin that for her, but grandma I love you, I'll still visit you, don't worry.